On this episode of Bodega Talks, we have Busy Banks, a Trinidadian American rapper from East New York that brings a melodic element to the New York drill sound. Since his debut in 2018, Busy Banks has been on a mission to establish himself as the top rapper in Brooklyn and the city. With his breakthrough single, Don't Start, in 2019, Busy Banks joined forces with Atlantic Records. With over 10 million total plays and the release of his highly anticipated mixtape, GMTO Volume 1, it's only a matter of time before the world gets acquainted with the future superstar. What's up? Hello. How are you? How's everything? You alright? Alright, man. Shit, we in Best Eye. That's a fact. I usually come out here for the... You've been to Best Eye Fish Fry? Yeah. yeah I don't, I don't really eat that a lot, but a lot of the homies go to that shit. That shit is a spot, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. So, you've been formally rapping for about two years, and you're already one of the hottest like artists in New York right now. What's it feel like being a part of Atlantic Records? Um, it's dope. It's a, it's a good experience. I feel like an actual rapper, like everybody I was watching growing up, too. So, it feels dope working with Atlantic. They work with a lot of people. Bro. Take care Brooklyn. of you, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, yeah, of course. Of course they take good. care of you. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bet. So this is Super Express Deli. This yeah. is your deli. This is your spot right here, right? Uh, All right, bet that. Rainbow. Let's go see what's up in here, bro. Look. Uh, all right, bet. So as part of the show, bro, basically we give you some money to spend, you know, get you some food, whatever you want to get. That shit is all yours to spend. What's your go-to bodega sandwich? Damn, that's hard. I might just say like honey glazed turkey or some shit with cheese. I don't know, can't think of that. Now I am not gonna lie, I like chopped cheese. Chopped cheese slap. You know, best style, Rambo, chopped cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a funny, like, it could be childhood, it could be recent, a bodega story. Like something that happened. Some you involved in the bodega. Um, that was hilarious. Me and Wu used to chill in the corner store. Like he worked there, so I used to just chill with him. And his girlfriend just came in that shit, blacking on him one day. But it's funny because he's a rap and his girlfriend is black, so that's my first time seeing his girlfriend. So she is just bugging. He's trying to say I was doing him, and I don't know what to say because I'm so confused. Like how he get her? Like <laughs> so it was hilarious. She came in there lit. Are you not answering your phone? Like, he's at work, miss. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> My friend, bro, like, what are you, you doing? Bro? <laughs> so, you mentioned that your older siblings helped you get into music. That's like, a fact. Specifically, hip hop. Um, are there any old school artists that you look to for like inspiration? Um, we could count Lil Wayne as old school, right? I guess. I feel so. like he was out in the nineties for me. He was he was lit. I guess we could say when that. I was low, born. low key, yeah, bro. It's not two thousand ten anymore, bro. Nah, no yeah, funny like, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're but, right. Um, anyone else besides Lil Wayne? Oh, I, really I really fuck with um Lloyd Banks too. Lloyd Banks? Uh, I yeah. fuck with Lloyd Banks myself. I'm not gonna front. Uh, I haven't heard nothing from him recently. Nah, yeah, I mean. But I, I do fuck with his either. lyrics, bro. His lyrics. Nah, he's, he's going a monster. Hard, that's, that's why my last name really Banks, though. He go crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. How do you separate your style from everyone else's? I don't know. I be, I be Trishy with it. For those who don't know what Trishy means. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I be on some whole <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, for real, like, that's why I say like a lot. I don't know, if you, ever, if you ever talk to a female that's lit, she say the word like a million times. Well, from Brooklyn, I don't know about anywhere else. From Brooklyn. They say like a Fair. whole long. Fair. So it's like, when I be lit, I be rapping, it's just like, I see how I'm saying like right now, like I just gotta say like, but you just gotta throw a little swag with it. Like nobody be having no swag sometimes. Everybody wanna be so aggressive and like, for me, I'm rapping about me, for me, I'm swaggy. So it's like, we do shit too outside, but we just a little, a swaggy shooter. Like, I'm a shooter that's so drippy. I <laughs> mean, quarantine freestyle out now. What's your, that? What's your favorite part about Brooklyn? Favorite part about Brooklyn? The love. It's a lot of hate, but the love, I don't know. It's a lot of I money. Mean, a lot Brooklyn, of get, of everything. Brooklyn yeah. is not just violent. Like, they really get money. So it's like, I learned everything here. So it's like, I gotta love it. 
what's next for you as an artist or as an individual man like what do you look to do in the next three months um trying to just build my brand bigger keep working dropping music keep feeding my supporters for me for the next three months hell yeah trying to get richer trying to get a plaque Trying to do something. We trying to do a lot in three months. I do that shit tomorrow if I could. Word. Okay, bro. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the vibe. You feel me? Like, nah, we trying to do that shit ASAP. Yo, thank you for everything, my nigga. I appreciate you know that, that shit. shit yo. Appreciate you too. You already, man. All right, you stay safe, all right? Man? All right, you too, Come man. On, make up. Hit me up. You know, best I always valid. <laughs> we a clear the room, please don't get me in a mood Look, I just play it smooth, cause I know I keep it too uh, I'm rocking off-white, but should he say I'm acting rude?